very good condition. Well, I noticed yeah. yours are all yours are all matted and everything clean. These are a stain. Now, now these have this real character with all this all this nice uh, these this coloration and those up on the wall are all cleaned up. That's I mean that's kind of nice. It shows that the, the time passing and everything. And furniture. That's true. That would be nice if these were pieces of furniture, but in fact they're posters, and we deal with things a little bit differently than okay. you guys do in the all furniture right. world. What do you do? Uh, for us. The visual condition is tantamount to everything else. Okay. And what we do is we have these posters restored to actually, in this case, bleach out the foxing. Okay. Okay. Now, bleach. I have to tell you also, different from furniture, if we don't take care of this poster, yep. this mildew will eventually eat away at the paper, destroying the poster itself. Okay. Well, what is this worth? Well, were we to get it fixed up, I would estimate this poster at two to three thousand dollars, and I want you to know that fixing it up is only going to cost about one hundred and seventy-five, two hundred dollars. Really, that's all. Yeah. Oh, really, Pat will be happy. I'm looking that. at this one. I really like this. Yes. Ski at Mansfield. Well, this is one of the pieces I was talking about that represents one of the great northeastern ski resorts, oh, Mount Mansfield, Smuggler's Notch, yep. right near Stowe, Vermont. Okay, and I can almost cool. guarantee that the person who buys this poster at an auction will have a condominium in the Stowe okay. area. Yeah, so, so a lot of the people that buy, buy these really live right there. They, they now, it's interesting. There. Because it's Smuggler's Notch, they use the image of a smuggler as their, oh, yes. sort of, as their logo. <laughs> we have sold a very similar poster featuring the smuggler uh, for $2,400. Okay. Uh, now, here's this. Dartmouth Carnival. The Dartmouth people must love the, these. I mean, well, I listen, the Dartmouth Winter cool. Carnival, as I said, has been a perennial favorite for years. We actually have the same copy that you have yep. in much better condition on the wall. And this piece we sold several years ago at auction for thirty-two hundred dollars. Whoa, thirty-two hundred! Now, this one I've never I never heard of Northland Skis. Are well, Northland Skis, no, no, they're not. Northland Skis is no longer in business, okay. and okay. I've never seen this image before either, which you'd think might make it rare. But to me, I look at it and it seems so cartoony okay. that I'm not sure yeah. it would be really well received by the market. I'd estimate it at eight to twelve hundred dollars. So, so okay. this one, another Northland skis over here. I mean, this is, uh, this guy, that's visually pretty strong. Well, I, I think, think this is a strong graphic. Yeah. I think the person who buys this is going to appreciate the, the sort of looking upwards at a skier coming over a cliff look. It's dramatically shadowed, yeah. and I think it's going to be a graphic designer most likely who buys a person Now, like Now, this. how do you stabilize these? And what's this one down here? You have this uh, mounted on a backing. Well, you know, uh, the, the preservation technique technique that we use for posters is right. called linen mounting. And okay. if you look at the back, if we can yeah. look at the back of the poster, yeah. okay. you'll see that there's actually linen. Nice. Okay. And on the linen, there's white paper. Yep. And then the poster itself is mounted onto the white paper. And it's okay. a completely reversible process. Okay. okay. So you actually have like this corner over here, which is missing. Looks like, is that replaced in, down well, there? Exactly. When you okay. put it onto the linen, you can not only replace yep. missing paper, but look up here. These are tears okay. that have been mended. So you can basically ah, okay. mend. Yeah, and again, unlike furniture, you can really get some good quality restoration work oh, done. Nice. Now, okay. This was our favorite in Pat's uh, place. This no, is that's great. incredible. I lo we love that. Sun now, Valley. Real popular uh, one? Or yeah. No, I think you saved the best for last. I think you set this up intentionally, guys. This poster, <laughs> this is a great poster. And I can say that not only from the aesthetic point of view, but from the fact right. that we've had it for sale yes. for three or four times over the past couple of years. And it regularly sells in the $4,000 to $6,000 range. Wow. Well, that's now, that's I want to just, just tell you that that's only when it's in good condition. Right. And I think this poster can be made to look almost as new for as little as $250. Well, Pat's going to be really happy. And we have to <laughs> ask Pat what she wants to do, but yeah. thank you. For tell tell Pat we're here for her. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks. If you'd like to have the Kinos visit your home, send us an email and your pictures to find at pbs.org and show us what you've got or write to us at the address on the screen. Well, up next, a visit to a New England farmhouse that's filled with family heirlooms, including a collection of antique dolls owned by a little girl who met a tragic end. So we really are able to see what children played with at the time. Exactly. Yep. There's a real wide variety here, different types of dolls. Some yeah. have porcelain heads. Yeah. Uh, this is a, uh, a German doll with a bisque head here. Until then, I'm Leslie Kino. And I'm Lee Kino. And you've been watching another episode of Find. Find, funded in part by Rainier. It's a brand new Buick.